It's another listenable bonus. Bonus out. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this bonus show. Dylan Alcott, Angus O'Loughlin. This is my voice. Dylan's the gruffy one. G'day, guys. Hang on. Don't need to put it on. I always say this. You don't actually have to exaggerate it. Very gruffy. Uh, I want to we, – we are doing a uh, – we're talking about this, but we also – and Dylan doesn't know about this, um, but we're not trying to uh, call out the AFL for something they did during the week. Um, but you might have seen – AFL on Twitter um, started a – joke between all of the clubs jumping on board, including the official AFL account, where they were doing hidden messages in alt text. Alt text is for people who are low vision or blind. And so it's kind of like a descriptor that you can as the publisher of that content. An no, it is an image description. An image description. Description of what is in the image, which I have got better at but still need to get better at making sure you do on every post because people are blind and low vision obviously still use socials and computers and whatever and it is the only way that they can communicate an image to you. So I wanted to make sure that I was right about this. So I follow uh, a couple of AFL clubs, uh, the Crows for one and the AFL official account um, and they did a post all over the course of two days and they were back and forth jokes between clubs like, hey, the Crows are going to lose this week and they would write that in the old text. So everyone's images was the same on the screen. It was an arrow drawn in like paint um, down to the alt text button and then it said click here. Mm -hmm. And in the in the alt text button, it would then have a little bit of joke like, you know, Travis Boak is back into the team. Woohoo! And I was like, okay, I can see them using this technology but they're actually doing it wrong. And so I called uh, a friend of ours uh, who is blind and uses alt text and I said, here's the situation. She jumped on, looked at the site and goes... So is Travis Boak pictured in this image? And I said, no, he's not. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, I thought he was in the image. No. The image is always the same between all clubs, which is just an arrow pointing to the alt text button on the screen oh. saying click here. But all of them were doing jokes like the Crows are going to lose this week. And then this friend of ours was like, how is the image representing the Crows losing? And I'm like, they're not. So they're using it as like a joke. And I just – it was amazing to see like it was a – it's, it's making How did it make you feel when you know about it? Well, I knew about it and I felt uncomfortable. So hence why I called them straight away to find out, am I over-exaggerating this? And she said, I, look, it's a great tool for us, of course, image descriptors, um, and we do use them, but uh, we'd like the people that maybe learned about, she was like, positives are, people probably didn't know what that old text bot box was before this, and now they do. But at the same time, as somebody who is blind, um, she would read that as completely different content yeah. because her screen reader also didn't give the reference of the arrow and the click here. Yeah, because that wasn't described in the old text. No, it wasn't. So it was on the paint. So, yeah, you're right. You know, people have different ways of thinking. You don't have to think like me, myself and Angus. But, you know, out of sometimes negative things, positive things like learnings come out of it, that's definitely one of them. If they were writing what was in the image and then wrote a message in there, you've done that to me before. You've done a little funny jokes, whatever. Yeah. You'll do it properly and then you'll be like, and Dylan, and you'll say something funny. Yeah. I think that's funny. And that's a little Easter egg for people that are blind low vision and use it. I think that's cool. Um, you'd have to ask them though. I don't have lived experience of it. But you have to describe what's in the image first, 100%. And, um, yeah, not doing that, you can see why people from from that use old text were like, hang on, that's not the way to go about it. Mm. So we'll, um, we'll share some of the examples on our Instagram and our socials to get some visual representation. Uh, but for those people who are low or blind, uh, <laughs> blind unfortunately, that's not going to be there for you either. Do they use old text on other images? No, they don't. So they Maybe only they could start. use it. Yeah. Here's a good learning. Isn't that funny? I didn't actually think about that. They're happy to do it for a joke, but yes, none of the other images. I got old text your images. Love that. Interesting. A learning for everybody and a call in, not a call out. Um, so there's a little bit of an update. Like it.